there's one big difference between Northern West Virginians and Southern West Virginians when it comes to hot dogs. You know what that is? What is up everybody? It's Sean with Food Supremacy coming at you live from Huntington, West Virginia. That's right. I live in Morgantown, West Virginia. This is Huntington, West Virginia. Uh, you know, whenever there's something for work and they're like, oh, this client's in West Virginia. It's probably right down the road from Sean. Well, not exactly. Three hours, but either way, uh, you know, you get to explore my state a little. All the way from the top of the state to the bottom. Huntington, man. I've never really done much down here. Not to, not to, you know, say that I didn't think much of Huntington. I just didn't know. I mean, if you don't know anyone there, why would you go there? Same way a lot of the people down here don't come visit my neck of the woods. Either way, man. We have a lot of similarities, Northwest, Northern West Virginia and Southern West Virginia. Not as different as you might think. For instance, hot dog stands, man. I thought that was our thing. Now, I know you guys like hot dogs down here. There's one big difference between Northern West Virginians and Southern West Virginians when it comes to hot dogs. You know what that is? Slaw. They put slaw on their dogs, which, you know, my people up North are up in arms about, why would you put slaw on hot dogs? Between you and me, I like it, man. I'm into it. Slaw and dogs, I've never had an issue with that. And you know, since I'm in your neck of the woods, I want to do things your way. So I went to Stewart's. Stewart's Original Hot Dogs. Gotta love it, man. Stewart's. So I got it the way we get it. Uh, mustard, onion, chili. Or we call it sauce, baby. Mustard, onion, sauce, slaw. That's the West Virginia dog. I saw these everywhere. There's there's two things that, that, that we have in common that, you know, I didn't realize is we, we love our hot dogs and we love our Mexican food. There's like a Mexican restaurant in every block. <laughs> it's like in Morgantown, I think we have 25 Mexican restaurants. Hey, I'm not hating on that. I had Mexican for lunch and hot dogs for dinner. You know, I'm obviously I'm, I care a lot about my health. So, Southern West Virginia, three hour drive through the country. So we do things a little different here. The uh, chili's on the bottom. Chili, mustard, slaw, onion, kind of weird. Kind of weird, because I wonder if that's standard. I've never seen a hot dog with chili on the bottom. Sauce on the bottom, sauce, we call it sauce. I was talking about that with some guys at work. We had a common ground there. We call it sauce, not chili, hot dog sauce. People are so weirded out about that. It's chili, it's chili, what's the difference? You don't eat a bowl of hot dog sauce, you eat a bowl of chili, that's the difference. And hot dog sauce, I mean, it's just like anything else. Pizza sauce, spaghetti sauce. Hot dog sauce, you know, that, why is it weird when I call it hot dog sauce, but all those aren't weird, you know? Get with the program, it's called hot dog sauce, not chili, those are two different things. If you don't know the difference, it's because you, you're not making it right. Without further ado, let's get into this. Pretty good. I love that slaw. It's a nice little twist. I wouldn't want to do it every time I eat hot dogs. So it's, it's, a, it's, a welcome, it's a welcome change when I get here. Another item I got, special guest appearance by Chili Cheese Fries. Man, this is as West Virginia as it gets. The girl I work with, and we were meeting with our client today, she was like, you mean chili? I was like, no, not chili. If you take one thing away from this video is that you need to get some West Virginia hot dogs with sauce in your life. If you're up in Fairmont, Morgantown, it's gonna be, you say everything. That's mustard, onion, sauce. If you're down here, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I'm not sure if you guys have the same platform we do. I believe it's mustard, onion, sauce, and slaw. I'm not sure if you guys throw in some cheese or anything like that. Like if you go to a hot dog stand in Southern West Virginia and you say, I need three with everything, What's coming on it? I believe it's what I said. But if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know. Either way, been a while. I missed you guys. Happy to be back. Showing you some of my roots, baby. West Virginia food. That's it for today. I'm Sean with Food Supremacy. Thanks for checking out my video.